How did you learn? It's like, it's like you have a sense of poetry that is, is innate, that it's, it's like a, a, a natural musician. Did you always know? I don't think so. I think I was taught that. Taught by? by... Peter Hall and John Barton and Trevor Nunn and you, I, all, the people I've worked, all the people I've worked with. And I Peter, when he, when he... Yes, it's true, Rich. And, yeah. and when, he, when Peter Hall um, directs, he stands at a lectern and, he, and you'd be rehearsing in front of him and he would be looking at the lectern and he would beat out the meter. I have to tell you, can I tell you a very quick yeah. story about Anthony and Cleopatra when he was trying to get the meter of her death right with um, Miranda Richardson and Helen Fitzgerald. And he, and he was trying to say, uh, oh, alas, alas, our noble lady's dead. And then it goes on and on like that. And we couldn't, it was only meant to be called for an hour and a half. It went on the whole morning. And I was lying there like this, pretending <laughs> to be dead. And eventually he said, alas, Alas, our noble ladies murdered. <laughs> and there was a pause. And he said, thank Christ. <laughs> <laughs> so it was drummed into yeah. you, you see, early. Drummed but, uh, into you really well. I would say that the opposite is true, that Peter learnt from you. That yeah, you I had an innate yeah. sen musicality, innate sense of, of rhythm, and that you're, like all the best actors of Shakespeare, you're like a, a jazz singer. You move, you know, you sing... Oh, I a, wish I was a jazz singer. Well, you sing across, you know, you speak Christ. across the bar lines. You see that you don't... Uh, somebody can't sing jazz, sing... Uh, uh, whereas you're all, all over, and yet you finish within the phrase. It's just the phrasing within the sort of eight-bar figure. Is, is all your own. And well, Sir John used to do that, didn't he? Sir John oh. used to present the whole thing as an arc. I used to, I've often said to young students, uh, what you, if you want to speak Shakespeare and learn about a, making a speech, you should listen to John Gielgud and Frank Sinatra, because Frank Sinatra presents you with the entire song. There's no spending too long on the beat. You know, and also, if exactly. you look at and you yeah. learn in the script, you know that where you must obey the... The um, what's that word called? Well, line endings. Yes, oh. line endings. You yeah. know, if you get a half line, when you see the script and you get a half line, and then the next person starts with another half line, that is all one line. If, on the other hand, you get a half line and the next person speaks with another half line underneath it, you know that in this pause to complete the line, something happens. And, and it's absolutely invariable. It that is. Rule. Uh, and it's so simple and it's so shocking that the teaching I mean we've we moan about it occasionally that young actors now have a very very difficult time because they don't get taught the rudiments of, of speaking verse and so they try and pull it around and make it naturalistic and not <laughs> see that actually you can just be truthful and naturalistic as you can with a song within a specific I time agree. signature. You can be much more colloquial and naturalistic if you obey what he tells you, and you also will never run out of breath. Yes. Because he gives you a place to take the breath. 